Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie Bit My Finger instead. Evening everyone. It's uh, Thursday the 12th of September. Uh, about sort of 20 to 7 in the evening, quarter to 7. Uh, quite a bit windy, not cold, but quite windy tonight. So I'm sort of crouched behind the car to uh, so you can actually hear what I'm saying. Uh, I'm just out on the rabbits this evening. As you can see, the owners of the land have, have uh, tried to take um, action against them by filling in some areas and this, even the sand they've put down in the pile has been dug out by the rabbits. You can see the burrows in it. So I'm just going to target this bit here this evening. There's a warren around the... Um, there's a manhole cover and a drain. They've basically excavated it really. Dug all the way around it and it's collapsed. So they've put that there to sort of try and fill in but I'm going to... Um, try and help them out by dealing with a few here. Uh, this is just not far from the, the yellow container if you remember. You can hear me, the wind's really bad. So I'm going to short, shorten the distance this evening. Um, it's about 20, 20 yards to that pile of sand. So I'm going to get laid on the bipod next to the car and uh, hopefully take a few. Get the kit out, get set up. Let's see how we get on. Speak soon. Just a quick word about the kit I'm using tonight. I've got my new FX Crown in 177. Uh, it's the new continuum version. It's got the Picatinny rails, the four barrel screws, the match trigger, and the Picatinny mount underneath the stock. Um, supplied by Braces of Bristol. I did order it in 2.2. It came in 177, um, so I'm just waiting for a 2.2 barrel from FX. Um, but uh, a lovely guy called Tim on the forum had a 177 crown barrel with a carbon fiber shroud, so I bought that from him with the pellet probe. So while I wait for my 2.2 uh, barrel and probe from FX, Johan sort it out for me. Then um, I'm down to 177, but it shoots the uh, it shoots the JSB heavies perfectly. So I'm going to be using them tonight. It's got the X sight on it. And what I like about the Picatinny rail because I can swap the uh, X sight around the three guns: the Dreamline, uh, the Impact Mark II, and now the Crown, without messing about with uh, scope mounts and everything. So it's a lovely bit of kit, shoots really nice, lovely to shoot. So hopefully get it some uh, get it some first blood tonight and get a couple of rabbits. Okay, get shut, shut up now and get started. Speak to you soon. Now it was nearly 8.30 before I saw the first rabbit. Um, behind me with a spotter. So uh, I sort of turned around, crept over. I don't know what's happened to its ear fighting or something I don't know uh, it's quite straightforward enough took it straight on between the eyes and that's the first one in the bag in a straightforward shot so then after I walked over to that one I turned around again and one had popped out where I was waiting um, this is the metal work around that sand pile earlier so I crept back over as best I could crouched down next to the car and he jumped back inside the fenced area and obviously I could see him with his eye shine when he thought I didn't or couldn't so I'm just waiting for him to sort of he's just behind that grass I could just do his scene a little bit more so I'm just letting him see if he'll shuffle a bit see the wind it's just blowing a little bit now it's not as bad as it was at all once it got dark it dropped quite a lot actually there we are it's a bit better 
can see that uh, temple and that's him out and that's two 20 to 9 and I'm looking to my right again just from where I am now and uh, I saw one just pop behind the gate so this next sequence I've speeded it up because obviously you want to sit and wait through three minutes of me watching him on the other side of a fence so I fast forwarded this bit here just to get to uh, where I was waiting for him I didn't want to take the shot there because of the grass and obviously the fence wire because if anybody can hit a fence wire it's me so he's hopped off to the right and I'm wondering where he's gone has he gone that way? oh no there he is so patience pays off as ever and after a while he braves it and comes back out to the right side gives me a perfect shot 31 yards straight between the eyes and it's uh, lights out so it's always worth waiting if you can and they'll eventually come back to where they were they just keep out of the way when they hear you stomping around for a while so once again I scanned around and this one was behind me and I crept over as best I could and he just jumped behind the metal work thinking I couldn't see him again so I got down pinged him to the hedge line it was 39 yards the wind had virtually dropped to nothing at this stage now you can see the plants are barely moving behind so I was confident at this distance especially with the JSB heavies so I'm just sort of making sure there's no little odd gust just trying to get it so I can just squeeze the shot allow a little bit of windage if I need it at that distance but try not to hit the metal bar so I'm just sat waiting to see if he'll move his eye is behind the metal bar if you can see it that's why you can't see the shine so I'm deciding to go just just to the side of the bar and that's it spot on and that was him lights out so that's four not bad just after nine o'clock it started to rain so I had to pack up but uh, really pleased with the crown superb gun lovely lovely to shoot really nice and that's four for it not too bad on the first outing okay if you like that like subscribe and share thanks for all your great comments and I'll see you next time bye for now